This time on Road and Race, how to buy and fit a racing seat. Hello and welcome to another episode of Road and Race. So let's talk about racing seats. A standard seat on a car is there mainly for comfort. But if you do a lot of track days, you probably want something that holds you a bit better. Also, a racing seat will weigh a lot less, and as you know, a lighter car is a faster car. So in this episode, I'll show you how to buy the right racing seat, how to fit it, and then I'll show you how it feels. I'll be working on my 350Z, but the principles apply to any car. If you'd like to see more about my series on repairing and modifying a 350Z, click the link at the top of the screen now. Also, don't forget to check out my Instagram and Twitter feeds for more behind the scenes stuff and mainly pictures of cars. So I visited GSM in Nottingham. I wanted to be able to try out a lot of seats before buying one and GSM have loads of seats to test. The manager, Gareth, helped me out with measuring up to make sure the new seat would fit and also advised me on which seat would be correct for me. For instance, you want to make sure the belt holes are correctly positioned for your body size. So after spending 90 minutes sitting in all the seats, I chose this one, the ARS-R from OMP. I also purchased M2 Motorsport seat rails. So it was a good day down at GSM. It was really nice to be able to try out all different seats and make sure I got the right one. I'm really happy with my choice. I've uh, got a discount code if you want to buy anything from GSM, like a helmet or a harness or something like that. I've got a code that you can use and get 5% off. Uh, and if you want to buy a seat from them, you'll also get a little bit of money off uh, depending on the seat with that code. So now on to fitting the seat. First up, you want to remove the four bolts that hold the seat to the car. To avoid any problems of the airbag accidentally going off when you remove the seat, it's best practice to disconnect the battery. Before we can actually take the seat out though, we need to remove three connectors that are underneath it. One powers the heated seats and the motors, one is the belt buckle detector, and one controls the airbag. So this is what was underneath. I was expecting it to be much worse, so a little bit of dirt isn't too bad. Here's a close-up of the three connectors I talked about earlier that you need to disconnect. Here are the two seats side by side. The stock seat weighs 22.8 kilograms and the new OMP seat weighs just 9 kilograms. A quick vacuum and it's looking much, much better now. At this stage, we need to get a 2.2 ohm resistor and fit it into the yellow airbag connector. This will trick the computer to make it think that the airbag still exists. If not, when you next turn on the car, you'll get this airbag warning light flashing at you. And then just put a bit of electrical tape on it to hold it in place. Then we can reconnect the battery. Here are the seat rails all fitted. I've not tightened every nut to make it easier to fit. I'll tighten it all up at the end. Because I'm not going to fit a harness just yet, I'm going to keep using the stock seat belt. So we need to remove the existing seat belt buckle. Like most things these days, it comes with a bit of cabling and that tells the car that the seat belt's plugged in. So we just need to remove that. Here it is fitted to the rail. The OMP seat didn't actually come with any bolts to connect it to the rail. So I had to pop out to the hardware store and buy some M8 bolts. I used the 30 millimeter length ones in the end. So here's the chair fitted in the car. Doesn't it look amazing? Oh yeah, it started raining. Lastly, we just need to sort out the seat belt arrangement because currently that's not gonna be very safe at all, is it? So we just need to unbolt it from the car and re-thread it through the holes as thus. Much better. All done. Lovely. Here we are heading out for the first ever 
track day test of the new seat and already it's really really good it's really good when you get in it just feels like a race car now usually when you go into a tight corner like this you're desperately trying to hang on to the chair but the seat just holds you so now you no longer have to worry about turning and holding yourself just get on with the driving i'm actually quite surprised this seat makes a huge difference to how the car feels and how you enjoy the track day this is going to sound like a massive cliche but you feel more connected to the car you feel like you're bolted to the chassis now so you get more feel and i hate talking these huge cliches but it's hard to describe any other way for it you know i've just got the standard seat belt the seat's holding me really well i don't feel like i need the harness just yet i guess time will tell but right now no you actually see it a little bit higher in this racing seat, so it gives you a better position, better driving position. You attack the pedals a bit more easily because you're slightly tilted. It's, it's a much better feeling. Even though you're sitting higher, it's a much more enjoyable feeling. Good. Can't get over how good this is, though. So let's see if I can put in a quick lap and see if this racing seat actually makes you any quicker. So, on to the lap times. Usually I get Gary to do this because he's marginally faster than me but he's on holiday topping up his tan so you're left with me my previous fastest time was a 3 minute 26 and with the new seat I got a 322 so that's four seconds faster that's partly down to me getting a bit better and getting a bit faster at Bedford but also I think the seat does make a big difference if you have any questions about the seat, let me know in the comments and don't forget about the discount code for GSM. Next time I'll be doing a major 80,000 mile service on my 350Z, replacing everything that needs doing such as the gearbox oil, differential oil, spark plugs and coolant. If you want to see more videos of me repairing and modifying my 350Z, click the box at the top. And if you want to see me and Gary track preparing a Renault Sport Clio, it's the box at the bottom. And as always, thanks for watching.